Hey guys, um, what's going on? Welcome. It's like 6 in the morning, I'm in the middle of Illinois, and uh, I just want to make this video for you guys. Um, real quick though, I picked up this 23 F.2 or Fujicron. Um, my buddy Ryan found the open box at Best Buy. I think Best Buy is like getting out of selling camera stuff in their store, and they're they're like you can't get any Nikon stuff anymore or like Fuji stuff. This was sitting in their glass uh, display case, never touched. Sold to me for 170 bucks, so that's a deal. Anyways, um, you know, real quickly, I have to leave because I'm here for a work trip and I gotta I gotta get going. But two things happened yesterday on this trip that made me think to myself, I'm never gonna be a real YouTuber and I'm never gonna be uh, the photographer that I want to be. Um, not that I'm aspiring to be a professional photographer, but if I had all the money in the world and I wanted to be a photographer, what would I be? And it really comes down to because of, of the life that I have now, and it makes me wonder, which by the way, I wouldn't trade for the world, but it makes me wonder, is it even worth to continue this YouTube channel sometimes? Um, and let me, let me explain. So, you know, the, the guys that do this at scale that are real big, you know, um, they're either in photography as their profession or they um, are able to travel around a lot and make videos and they put a lot of time into recording and that kind of stuff and like plot lines and storylines and do a lot of editing and I just don't have that time I mean from the minute I get up in the morning which is early to the minute I go to bed I'm either doing something for work or kids or sports or with my wife or with family or whatever I don't have time for that I mean I have these random trips where I go camping or I'm going to Nevis in April, so that would be cool. But if I stuck to just the, the really cool stuff, it would be so far and few between that I'd never make videos. And so there's a lot of filler stuff. And as you guys might have noticed, I'm not making content nearly as much because I haven't been buying and selling as much gear as I used to, which was a lot, which was a lot of content. I haven't even really properly reviewed this Fuji X-T5. It makes me wonder, if I, if I can't really give it a real go, is it still worth it for me to do this? I just passed the 4,000 subscriber mark, which is really incredible that 4,000 and 24 people subscribe to this channel. It's pretty nuts, but um, it make, makes you wonder. Um, and so, you know, what this channel had become was like, a, I'm going through a bunch of gear, I might as well share my, my thoughts. But now that I'm trying to pull back on the gear exchanges, the real content, like the photography content is low. I'm, I'm supposed to shoot a, um, a 90th birthday party this Saturday. I was gonna do a behind the scenes on that. But I just got a text message that a bunch of them have COVID or something now, so they're, they're canceling. Um, so that takes that away, you know. Uh, so it just, it's like I'll never be a real the YouTuber I want to be because, you know, the lifestyle that I have doesn't support kind of what I have envisioned. And so I got to wonder, like, am I just more relatable as like a normal guy that maybe you guys are that has a family or does random trips or maybe they're your businessman or woman? I don't know. And, and the second thing is, I, I met somebody yesterday, this is the guy's card, um, on my travels, and this person lives in, near Detroit, and we got to talking, he was carrying a Fuji X-H1 over his shoulder, and it was just beat to, beat to crap, it was just silver, paint removed everywhere, he had an 18F2 on it, he had the battery grip on it, it was just trashed. And we got to talking, and I said, man, I have a nice camera, I have my X-T5 on the table next to me. And so we started talking a little bit, and he's a uh, like a, a photojournalist, and he like travels to like Ukraine, like gets into and, and photographs for Getty Images and Bloomberg um, the Ukraine Russia war. He was back in Hong Kong in 2019 doing the protests there before COVID kind of swept that under the rug, um, and just you know local stuff in Detroit where there's protests and other things. He's just one of those guys, and it was really fascinating because he travels a ton, you know, shoots with an older Fuji X-H1. When I asked him what his other gear was, he had an X-T3, which he said he was, the shutter was breaking, and then an X-Pro2, which there was an issue with that too. Prior to that, he shot with like a Nikon D4, I think, and then a D5. He said that one of them got smashed with a brick and destroyed it, and the other one got shot with a bullet. Um, you know, and then he had a D700 at some point. But the point was he, was, he was just using whatever gear made sense, and he was going for tough and robust gear. He wasn't worried about buying the latest and greatest X-H2S with the blah, 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 megapixels or whatever. He was more worried about capturing the story. And I went on his website, he gave me his card, and his images are, are great. You know, and, and I thought to myself, if I didn't have other obligations, 
that's something like that would be what I want to do, to tell stories. I enjoy that stuff, and I'll never be that. The story I'm telling is my family and my kids, which is the most important story to me, honestly, because nobody's going to... My kids will care looking back when they see images of them's kids or their dad younger or what I was doing. And that's cool because that's stuff I wish I had more of for my parents and my grandparents. Um, so I think it's important, but I'll never be like the war-torn photographer or whatever. Um, I don't have the ability to get up at 11, 8, 11 p.m. at night or 4 in the morning and just leave my family and not go do work obligations and go shoot some kind of thing that's taking place in the world. So, you know, it makes you wonder, like, how much of my back and forth with camera stuff is because I'm, I'm bored. The reality is any of those cameras would have worked. So I'll never be a real photographer. I don't really have an interest in shooting weddings and stuff on the weekends. I've done it. Portraiture is okay. But capturing the action, that's where I want to be. That's where I want to be. So I have to go to this customer meeting right now. I just wanted to make this video. I get, again, this is the time I have. I have 15 minutes to record this video. I've got to find 15 minutes later when I'm like on the plane ride back to Detroit to edit this video. That's why my edits stay low. That's why it's low friction, that kind of stuff. I shot a few images in the airport out of the 23F2. I'll put them up right now. Um, yeah. So what do you guys think? Comment below. Given the circumstances, is it worth continuing this YouTube channel? Does it make sense? I don't want to make content for the sake of content. And are you in the same boat with photography that you wish you were doing other things and because you're not, like you're into gear? I don't know. Let me know. Comment section below, guys. I'll see you. Bye.